we are going to be unboxing this and this i know i'm a color lover so sometimes i actually put effort to go non-color which is what i'm doing with this around piece so guys next time when your orders come just open it immediately even if you want to unbox it open it and make sure everything is there before you fool yourself came out a happy bunny <laughs> Thank you for clicking this video. Welcome to my space. On today's episode, as you have seen from the title, we are going to be unboxing this and this. I'm literally going to open the boxes and the bag with you and then I will try them on in my usual fashion outside my house because I feel that's where you would get the best content for these pieces. If this is something you think you would enjoy, sit back, relax and let's have a good time watching me style the outfits I'm going to be wearing on my birthday week. My birthday is coming in about two weeks and I'm going to inspire the heck out of your wardrobe for that whole week. So my birthday is on the weekend. So the week following, I'm just going to be giving you back to back slayage. That's something I do normally on my Instagram, to be honest. But this one is going to be a bit more birthday effort into it. You know what that means. Let me stop rambling and let's go right into this. So it's a bank holiday, guys. So this outfit, first of all, is Zara. It's a lovely long dress. You would have seen it if you watch the video that is currently uploaded because it's when i went to some thrift stores in london with a friend of mine demi we had a good time found a few finds that day i, do, I wouldn't even really say we got so much but like a couple days later i was literally on my own high street <laughs> popped into two places and got so much stuff it's crazy when you plan to do these things okay, i'm currently unboxing the zara one this haul is not going to be filled up with so many pieces just a few bits so that you'll be you know just because it's just a week of styling so i didn't even buy shoes okay i think i bought a footwear from nasty girl and the rest of the things are going to be from my wardrobe i'm also expecting a parcel from dpd actually ordered it from harrods guys i paid 12 in fact when we're doing that unboxing i think i'll do the rant there um yeah so but basically the things are not coming till tuesday today's friday is a bank holiday i have the whole weekend you know to do all these things and imagine this thing not now coming yeah, so I've opened up the Zara. Let's open up this. Oh, let's just start with Zara, you know, and then move from there. As always, your Zara comes in this sustainable box and then royal wrapped in a white paper with the round silver label that just puts the paper together. So Zara, I ordered two outfits. The first one is this linen piece. He said it was white, but this looks like off-white. It clearly looks like off-white, but I love it like that. I really, really love it. The bag... I'm going to, I might actually just make a monochrome styling with this. To be honest, I've not even planned anything, but my shoe is tomorrow. But yeah, so it's double breasted, I'm thinking. And this cost £89.99, that's £90. I bought this in a large. I buy my um, Zara blazers in a large. And as you can see, because it's linen, it's not crazy linen, it's a bit thick linen, it's still very rumpled. So I'll definitely steam it while I'm packing later today. Zara sets are never sold together. Like, even if they tell you things are supposed to be mixed and match, they will never be sold together. In fact, Zara might even tell you, but you just know you style it like this. Other ways to style it, that be how to style it. You now go down and see something that might be going with it. So, these are the pair of pants, exactly the same texture. These cost $59.99, and I got them in a the medium because my waist is now a medium for Zara pants, it's no longer large. And I'm going to obviously be steaming this as well. So, both of them, um, as I said, I'm not really sure how I'm going to style them, but I have this coach bag i won't show you guys in another video i'm thinking if i want to do a monochrome situation it'll be that but for this as well another thing i had in mind was color i really want to bring a lot of color obviously it's spring i love color as well but then again sometimes like non-color makes you look a bit mature and i know i'm a color lover so sometimes i actually put effort to go non-color which is what i'm doing with this around piece i'm <laughs> talking about color <laughs> This pair of trousers, just look at how beautiful they already look like. Just seeing this, you're just happy. You get so it's green and pink. Green and pink is a combination that's been working so so good in my mind. When you when I go to my explore page, I see a lot of people in like green, lime, and pink and stuff, and a bit of purple as well. And yeah, it looks I'm thinking to do this one to be a very chilled look. At the same time, we like fire glasses and then 
I'm thinking maybe graffiti backdrop. I'm going to give you guys like I can't even wait. <laughs> Your girl is a year older, and this is my gift to you. Okay, yeah, so that's it. So I got to the medium, and these cost $32.99. So guess what color of top I got to pair with these pants? Guess, guess, guess. Yeah. So this pink lacy number. My Zara shirts, I get them in large. If I like Zara upper body, I just tend to stay with large. Except they say it's oversized or exaggerated or something like that and not do medium it's a beautiful lacy shirt like all through lace i'm gonna just wear a bra underneath yeah a black bra so this costs 32 99 that's 33 33 65 98 or something like that so yeah this is it color long sleeved and then silver buttons the buttons don't look as cheap as some zara buttons used to look this one looks okay uh oh oh for the inside of the white suit i forgot to show you what i got for that and it's this top so i told you i like to get my zara tops in a large but i got this in the medium because i really wanted to sit on my body and then this drapes to just fall this looks really mature now uh -uh. your girl is trying <laughs> color color up and down and the, uh, the texture is really lovely it, it looks like silk but it's not it's a, a bit stretchy and this was 19.99 last but not the least the purse i said i got from zara the other time i purchased um the white beaded version of this and lots of you loved it lots of people loved it so the thing is that with zara there's no even commission you get i just really like zara as a brand because it's easy to just decide i know this is i know this. i don't know it's just easy and they know how to do the body well she gets but zara doesn't like all the links i put normally i'm supposed to get commissions but with zara i get nothing i don't know if there's any affiliates company that works with zara zara doesn't really care about things like that so this purse was pretty expensive i would say this is how we came and it's so funny on the website you see how you know how zara can be dramatic you see how they start just you see this pose. they give you this pose. you are going to take a picture for the website see what they did <laughs> like seriously who does that was that like a cupcake or something like that guess how much this was 45.99 or 45 pounds i think it's a bit too pricey for that it's got an inner pouch thing with the zipper so it protects your stuff on like that that one i have that's like silver it also has this but yeah i don't know i just thought the colors would come in somehow when i'm mixing and matching outfits so if you haven't watched my three tall please go and watch it it's sitting tight i'm also trying to inculcate some london walks i've done the camden walk i did a bit of the chelsea and i'm going to give you guys the oxford circles slash piccadilly circles walk so just be watching them sometimes you just put it to play while you're cooking and stuff and then you just see people walking you can even get inspired because the london streets are full of fashion one day i'll actually go for a fashion walk and go to places like Knightsbridge, where you see people who are giving 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 fashion but kindly enjoy my london walks i don't know if you put like inspirational music at the background or you want to hear the music of the streets i don't know but that's something i really enjoy and i really want to start doing on the channel so please support me by watching that and watching the ads as well if you see the ads i'm gonna spend this so for the nasty girl it seems the only items that came are actually the shoes and this is really scaring me and i'm confused because i didn't open it until right now so let me show you the shoes because i can just see two boxes here there's no other extra bag so this is the pair of shoes i got i really intended to style these separately with something i was going to get from river island for um but it's going to come tomorrow i think so just one of the looks i'm going to give you guys on my first thing week so i know you think we've left boot season but yeah we never leave boot season to be honest because boots have a kind of edge they give outfits and to be honest the weather in london doesn't even <laughs> understand when you're in summer like in the spirit of colors i got this pair of orange heels i don't have any pair of orange heels and i really just love how this one sits it looks retro as well the shape of the heel the shape of the shoes the texture has like this croc vibe about it yeah and yeah i just love the way the heels are <laughs> These are the two pairs of shoes I got from Nasty Girl. I will continue this video once I get the clothing and obviously try them on and you'll have a blast. All the links will be in the description box. The next day. Because you can't even guess what happens. So when the order came, Hobby received the yeah, came. I saw it on the box. I was like, yeah, I don't want to open it. I'm going to open my subscribe bars. I want them to get the first impression, you know, all that jazz. For me to start unboxing it, as you guys have seen, and only shoes were there. The other two outfits nowhere to be found i quickly went into the order to check what's up and i saw tracking i clicked the tracking they said korea one and korea two <laughs> good korea two when are they bringing my order tuesday like i'm shooting on saturday i've literally called my friend because 
I like to, you know, have company and shoot with people who would encourage me. She has gotten her office ready. I'll come and call her and tell her, Korea to do not deliver. So guys, next time when your orders come, just open it immediately. Even if you want to unbox it, open it and make sure everything is there for you, for yourself. So I quickly had to go to Westfield. Came out a happy bunny. For the tunnel, I wanted to go with camo pants. I really wanted something um, very tomboyish. There was no 12. I had to get it in a 14. I'll still check my wardrobe if I can replace this shirt. But for now, this is what it is. So I'm going to wear this set with the boots. You know, those brown boots. I just really like one. I wish those boots were like stiletto so that I'll be looking very. But yeah, this will still make me look grunge and edgy. And oh, sorry. I didn't even tell you the prices. The price of this jumper thing is 36 pounds. Quite expensive. Like just a plain <laughs> pound so this is even worth being 38 pounds do not in nigeria because i don't think you can wear camo in nigeria but why is this thing being 36 pounds this like this just screams spring guys like see if i land those things like this a lot they actually had quite a number of jackets the buttons i don't know there's something about river island and shiny things like things shiny you just see a nice handbag when you see shining thing all around it they like to put a lot of bling bling which and bling bling always looks so cheap and i don't know but i really love the texture of this it's what zara would call a textured fabric but yeah it's very close to tweed if you know what i mean so i saw this and i was trying to look for like a pair of shorts or a pair of skirts i didn't want trousers that would go with it because i already have the white trousers to so style it in form of a retro way i have white boots and i have these white retro heels that i feel of gucci like a block heels that brown wooden kind of heel yeah so i'm thinking i'll wear this this one cost 25 pounds and i got it in a 12. this cost 65 i also got it in a 12. so that's about it i just want to give you an update and now you are going to enjoy me in all these outfits it's a good time to like this video so this way i would have to add river island to the title of this video <laughs> the next day good morning guys so this is the place for my first look man that orange jumper wasn't given so i had to just wear this my zara um sleeveless bodysuit for my first look obviously still wearing the camo and then my fendi sneakers so yeah we're at the first location which is supposed to be graffiti it's somewhere not far from waterloo station now we're all on time i got came early i came early just over shooting today so that i can be fast good news on my delivery river island is coming today as planned we dpd the same dpd we harris is telling me tuesday so i said this i got here waiting for a go go what did i get a message from dpd saying they're coming today as well they haven't come in before river island which should be because i ordered it a day before the river island one hello Like no one even really came to disturb like the peace and chunky this was all nice <laughs> location i forgot to actually bring out this camera so i'll just show you clips from there and go to the first one and then show you the both outfits on that one yay <laughs> Oh,
twerking, rolling, swagging to the max. My bitch a fashion killer, she be busy popping tags.